Malika and today I am doing my current faves. I don't do these videos a lot because it takes me a minute to accumulate things that I actually really like because I really like to use these things for a while before I just say that I like them. I've been gone for a minute because I went to visit my family, my in-laws, and so I had to take a break from YouTube and I hope you guys um, will accept my apology and thank you to all the new subscribers and of course my existing subscribers. Let's get into this video though. So the first thing I want to talk about is this Shea Moisture, um, what is it, 2-in-1 Bubble Bath and Body Wash with Oats and Aloe, Vitamin E, and it's African Black Soap. This has helped me so much. Um, it really does clear up your skin, um, and it also is just good if you have like, you know, maybe a little bit of eczema and all of that. It's really moisturizing. So I love this product and I almost need some more. But yeah, this is my daily shower gel and I do use it for bubble bath as well. Next, I just kind of discovered this like three weeks ago. Um, I posted it on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you won't miss my Instagram stories. Um, this is the Honest Company Honest Face and Body Lotion. It's natural, hypoallergenic, and non-greasy and fragrance-free. Um, the Think Dirty app gave this a three, and that's really good. Um, and I use this mainly for a light daily moisturizer on my face. Um, I have used this on my body whenever I'm just, you know, running late or something. But I mo mainly use this to moisturize my face in the mornings. And I find that it does a really good job with that. And I'm glad to have purchased this product. Keeping along with moisturizing your skin, I have talked about this before. Um, this is one of my favorites this is the um sierra and sage 100 percent all natural dry skin daily skin moisturizing salve um it soothes it's herbal and it's pure and it has all in organic ingredients and it can help with cracked hands and feet dry face knees and elbows dry red bumps eczema and pariasis therapy rashes razor yeast and fungal I love this product. I've been having a few skin problems with it being dry and cracked and all of this. This has helped me a lot. This is my second bottle. I stand by this product, especially in this winter months. Like the weather doesn't know what it wants to do. It can really dry your skin out. And I really, really love this product. I think this is the old packaging. I'm pretty sure you can find this on Amazon. I'll try to leave a link below for this but it's really really moisturizing and this is really like my favorite and it's like a salve and it's also great for your hands just to keep them moisturized moisturized with your cuticles and things i just love this it really does help with super dry skin um next is this i talked about this in my feminine care um little video which i will link somewhere um, below or either in this video and this is honey pot feminine wash normal and it's pH balanced and 100% vegan I love this um, it really does keep it fresh down there it keeps it the pH balance down there and it is just really good at just keeping everything the way it needs to be I love this I'm glad I came across this um, yeah it's just a good product now this is like hair this is for your hair this is my holy grail leave-in conditioner this is shea moisture again and i hope you guys can see that this is shea moisture again and it's their jamaican black castor oil strengthening and growth leave-in conditioner with shea butter peppermint and keratin um it says it's for natural hair chemically processed color treated hair or heat styled hair of course you know Shea Moisture doesn't have all the nasty yucky yuck ingredients um but I love this I don't my hair does not like regular conditioner so I 
have to use the leave-in conditioner and I find that this one has just did exactly what it claims to do my hair is stronger my hair has grown a lot and I just really really love this product and it smells really nicely it just has a nice scent to it and yeah um, I recommend this product it's a leave-in conditioner next we're going to go with toothpaste this is a new fairly new for me I've only had it for about a week but let me tell you why I added it this is Uncle Harry's natural products toothpaste and pepper peppermint it's alkalizing I found this while browsing around on um, Amazon this is really good it's pH balanced balancing restorative it freshens breath and whitens gently I have never really tried like a little paste like this this is how it looks and what you do is you just dip dip your toothbrush in there you only need a little bit amount this does not bubble up and you know all that but the ingredients are bentonite clay calcium carbonate um, Kaleo silver water, sea salt, ionic minerals, mustard seed, essential oils of peppermint, eucalyptus, and cloves, wintergreen, and oregano. It's gluten free, glycerin free, and vegan. It really does clean your teeth really, really well. I really like it, and it naturally whitens it. Um, Basically what it claims to do is freshen the mouth with powerful mineral clay um, and it encourage remineralization of tooth enamel. And that's really why I got this. Because I thought, you know, this is really good. Um, because you know your teeth can break down and this will help keep your teeth intact. So yeah. I'm really liking this so far. It does kind of have a salty taste, but it really does freshen your breath and um, with the peppermint and all of that in here. So I really like this product. Next um, is this lip balm. And I don't even know if you guys can see this. But basically this is um, Sierra Bee's Organic Lip Balm. And I bought eight of these in a pack for $8 on Amazon. And this one is Organic Pomegranate Lip Balm. And it's or um and it um is flavored as well. No, it's not. I lied. It's not flavored, but it smells amazing. Um, yeah, these are really moisturizing, and I really really like them. And I thought eight dollars for eight lip balms couldn't beat that. And they're organic, and they're made with great ingredients. Um, like this one has extra olive virgin olive oil, beeswax, um, sunflower seed oil, non-GMO vitamin E, and pomegranate oil. So it's really, really nice. Okay, let's move on to makeup items. This is from Black Minerals, and you probably can't even see this, but um, this is an eyeshadow pigment. This is mineral eyeshadow in the color Allure. And I actually have this on my eyes now. Let me try to zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a really um, bronzy color. Well, not really bronze, but I don't know how to describe it. But it's a really nice color. Let me try to swatch it. Um, this is from Black Minerals, who I adore and love their products. This is the eyeshadow color. Let me see. Really kind of, you know, matte metal type of color. Um, I love this eyeshadow and I've been using it um, for like, I feel like I'm far away. I've been using it to basically do an all over lid the same color and this is really neutral and it's great for everyday color. So this is from Black Minerals. Another favorite of mine is the Concealer Trio from Plain Jane Beauty. I always tell you guys about this. I love these. These are so, number one, they're pigmented. Number two, they last a long time and they're creamy and they glide on. 
So I just adore these and I have used all three shades of this. Like this is just a holy grout um, concealer pot. I don't really use as much as the dark brown as I could. I do use it when I contour, but these two colors, teak and um, I can't remember what this other color is called, but um, they're really dope. Next is Laws of Nature's. This is a sample size of their bronze foundation. I really love how this foundation works. Um, it's just a great foundation and um, it lasts a long time and it gives a nice finish. This is what I have on. I have not even put any um, facial powder to kind of mat it up. This is just how it looks and I really, really love the finish of this foundation and lastly is the eco tools perfecting blender duo and this one is the large one and it's obviously dirty because I used it today but this is really nice I love the way this blender sponge gives to this foundation like it is so nice and it's so nice to have this flat edge um, so you can do your contour and then this flat side so you can get up underneath your eye. It really does make my foundation application way better. So these are my favorites, you guys, my current favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thank you guys for continuing to come back and watch me. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my videos. And also you can hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And as always, you guys, peace and love, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.